Okay, look at this. Look at this sexy ass. We got another G Master lens review. This is one of my favorite lenses uh, for the Sony uh, full frame system. My God, this lens is fucking amazing, man. This is the Sony 35 millimeter G Master F1.4. One of the best Sony lenses that I've ever used. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, I am Tung, and today I have this bad boy right here. Sony 35 millimeter F1.4 G Master lens. This lens is a beautiful lens, both on the inside and the out. I've been using this lens now for several months, uh, six months now. I've been using this for a little bit of everything, some client work, some portraits, some traveling, and I wanna give you my honest review of this lens so far. I picked this lens up because I wanted a 35 millimeter focal length. I've been a fan of the Fujifilm XF23 millimeter F1.4, and I love that lens. And I thought, why not give this one a try? I always wanted to own a G Master lens. I thought this would be a great pickup. As some of you guys already know, I purchased the Sony a7 IV this past winter. And I always thought in order to get the best out of your camera, you, you should own a G Master lens to go with it. I always thought that the G Master was such a dope name. And because of the name alone, I was like, whoa, that's the lens that I need to get if I ever own a Sony. So here we are. Let's start with the build quality. So this is a G Master lens, obviously. This lens is beautifully crafted. There is an aperture ring on the lens. I see that there are drawing inspirations from Fujifilm. Good one, Sony. The lens filter is a 67 millimeter filter thread. And I thought being that this was an F1.4 full frame lens, I thought it was gonna be bigger than that. But this is quite compact and small for a G Master lens. The build is quite nice. I love holding this lens. I just think it has a very great feel to it. It feels nice to hold in your hands. It feels nice to hold in your hands. And you know, it, it's like I'm holding a gold brick, you know? It's just so expensive and money. There is a switch on the side of the lens. You can uh, switch it from a clicked aperture to a declicked. Now this feature is good for videographers because if you're changing apertures, that stepping motion when it's clicked could be jarring to look at when you review your footage. There's also an AF MF switch on the side and as well as another customizable button if you need it. This lens is weather sealed and I tested this accidentally. I didn't know that it was weather sealed at the time. I shot with this lens outside while it was snowing in uh, some sort of farmland and it held up. Uh, nothing was wrong with it. I was able to get the shots I want without having any technical difficulties. And I would expect nothing less from a G Master lens. You're paying a premium, so you should get premium quality. And overall, the build quality of the 35 millimeter G Master lens is very nice. It's great to hold in my hands and it's not that heavy and it packs away quite nice in my bag. Let's move on to the autofocusing. So I've been testing around a few lenses already with the autofocusing and how the lens handles autofocusing on a Sony a7 IV. I have the Sigma 28 to 70 millimeter f2.8 and the Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter f2.8. And I also have a Sigma telephoto lens as well. And they all do a good job with, with their autofocusing. However, the 35 millimeter G Master lens is a lot better at autofocusing. I had to try the third party lenses autofocusing first as a baseline to truly appreciate what this G Master lens can do. There are times when I use my Sigma 28 to 70 millimeter and I find that it wouldn't latch on as quick and as precise. And then I pop on this bad boy right here paired with the Sony a7 IV and it's really like a match made in heaven. The autofocusing is great and snappy. It nails the subject 99% of the time. And I've never come across a shoot where I thought this was a missed focus shot. All the shot, all the shot just seems to get nailed when shooting with this lens. It's really incredible what the folks over at Sony are able to do with their camera and lenses. You don't have to worry about the autofocusing or nailing focus. It's really honestly like a cheat code right now. <laughs> the lens do suffer from bad focus breathing. This is probably not the lens for someone that wants to do some um, filmmaking. But since I have the Sony a7 IV, it does mitigate this with the a7 IV's uh, breathing comp compensation feature. That works very well and I, I leave that on whenever I'm using this lens to film anything. Let's move on to the image quality. 
The images I get with this lens is insane. It's crazy how sharp this thing is. Uh, wide open at f1.4. But there's also a smoothness to it, a softness to it that I like. There's something about this lens where it like just creates some smooth, dreamy bokeh. I think it could be the full frame look. The shots are sharp, wide open, uh, smack dabbed in the center, and stopping it down, you really get some crispy, sharp images. The thing about Sony lenses and cameras are that it's really sharp sometimes. And I think this is where people start to differentiate from different looks from different camera brands. But yeah, talking about this lens, it definitely has that Sony look. Not saying that it's a bad thing. It's a very sharp clinical look and I get it. My Fuji viewers will say, that's why you get a Fuji. You know, sometimes when you eat too much hot dogs, you just want some sausages, you know? You know the hot dogs are always going to be there, but you just want to try something different. Uh, try something new, something meatier. Pause. But back to what I was saying, the images are insanely sharp, wide open, and sometimes I would have to soften it up and lower the contrast and slide the clarity slider to minus 20 because of how sharp this thing is. I love the images I get. The bokeh is buttery smooth. So smooth when using this with that full frame sensor. It's a beauty, man. There is a heavy vignetting at f1.4, but it does clear up once you add the lens correction profile on it. I didn't think you can get more shallow depth of field with a 35 millimeter focal length. It's because I'm a Fuji shooter, so I'm always going to compare this to the XF 23mm f1.4, which is the 35mm full frame equivalent. I didn't think this lens could have that sort of shallow depth of field because of because it's not really a telephoto lens. When I shoot portraits with my 23, with my 23mm f1.4, I didn't really see much um, separation. But then I shoot with this 35mm G Master, and I didn't realize that the tone on this is so good. So friggin' amazing. Like I don't get how, I don't get this at all. Like what is this science? <laughs> What's also interesting about this lens is it's close focusing um, distance. It comes in at 26 centimeters, which is not bad. You can come in close and still blow out the background shooting this thing wide open and get that smooth buttery tone. I like that. This lens is a solid performer. The images are sharp, crispy, and clean. And you know, you can't go wrong with this lens, honestly. I think this is a very good lens. I can't believe that I'm enjoying a Sony lens. You, you hear that, Fuji? Better get your shit together. I can't be enjoying a Sony, Sony lens like this. You better make some dope ass lenses. Otherwise, I'm switching to Sony. Foley. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll sell my X-H2S again. I'm definitely switching. <laughs> Overall, I really enjoy this lens. What makes this lens special for me is the size. This lens is quite small for a full frame F1.4 Sony lens in my opinion. It's not much bigger than my Viltrox 13mm f4 for the Fujifilm X-Mount. So I do like the size of it because that means that I can carry this one setup around whenever I'm out on town or traveling. This could be a good walk around lens to pair with the Sony a7C. And I love the images I get out of this lens. And for $1,300, you're getting a top performer. The images are outstanding. It's crispy clean. The f1.4 and the Tone is just so beautiful to look at. And the autofocusing, it just seems to nail everything. I like, I love it, man. When I zoom in into my images and I just do this and bam, the eyes are in focus and it's sharp. Pairing this, uh, pairing this lens with the Sony a7 IV is a great combo. I'm enjoying this combo very much. The images is lovely. Again, the bulk is beautiful. And there you have it, folks. What are your thoughts on the 35 millimeter G Master? Do you guys have it? Love it, hate it? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link to the lens down below. And as always, if you like my content and you wanna see more of this sexy face, please subscribe to the channel and be notified of the new content that I push out. Don't forget to follow me on my socials. I'm on Vero, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter at I am Tung. And once again, my name is Tung and I'll see you in the next video. I love you.